Okay, I'm using a Poser Pro 2014 32-bit. I'm going to export this uh, James figure as a Collada file. Say OK. I'm going to say OK again. And here's the big deal. Select 3DS Max Maya 2012 Plus. Custom units should be checked. And then say OK. This brings up the morphs, morph targets. So I'm just going to select a few. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm just going to say James 4. Now, what you'll have to do next is you'll have to download a plugin called FBX Converter 2013 from Autodesk, which I will. Uh, definitely put a uh, link to and once you have this opened up you'll just go to the add button here load up your file James DAE say open here it is scroll down a little bit to convert and this is a very quick conversion it's done now I'm gonna go back to Lightwave uh, modeler again 11.6.2 this is 32 bit I'm just gonna go to load object James 4 FBX open it's gonna ask me load each object into a separate layer that's fine click on continue it may take a uh, that's okay so not too long all right, so then uh, you can see that it's not smooth. So surface editor, shift click, hit smoothing. Now he's nice and smooth. The big thing that I really want to show you guys is we exported the morph targets. So if we go here to M for morph, we can see our base. Let me move this up a little bit more. Scroll him down a little bit. M for morph, and now all of a sudden, look at this we have all of his morphs that we selected. This is a huge game changer for me. Uh, and his texture maps, except for his eyes, the transparency maps always mess up. I have no idea why. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.